Okay, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video I'd like to go over the skin weights of our model. As you can see the model is in a new pose. I've been um, fiddling about the skin weights, so we'll get to them in a second. So the skin weights are very, uh, probably the most time consuming part of um, setting up your animation in comparison to the joints and stuff because we need the geometry to deform in the right way. So what skin weights are is um, well, Maya has a very good um, graphical representation of what they are. I'm just going to straighten out the arm. Okay, I'm just getting it back into the right position. Um, okay, so the skin weights tool. To um, edit the skin weights, for example, we can select the skin, then go to skin, um, edit smooth skin, and then paint skin weights tool. So I'm going to open up the options. And here we go. We can select each of the joints, for example, the head. And as you can see, I've coloured in the head pure white, which means it's got 100% influence um, on this geometry. When the, geom when the geometry is black, it means that the joint has no influence at all. So as I rotate the head, the whole head is moving around because it's got 100% influence. And if we reselect this, the neck kind of fades out. I don't want this bit of the neck to move, so it's black. Okay, simple as that. So we need to select each of our joints and go around the character and configure um, the skin weights. So, for example, this is the right shoulder. So we can go down, select the right shoulder, and this is probably the hardest joints to do because this bit goes inwards and uh, we need to make sure the shoulder curves around successfully. So I've configured the, this already, and as you can see, um, it's got very slightly painted across here. So just to show you how things work, we have a few functions here. We can add and scale. These are the things I use mostly, so scale's good at pushing things outwards. I'm going to get rid of that. And adding is good for pushing things inwards, if I bring the value up a little bit, like so. So the value is very sensitive, and we can also change the opacity, like so. Um, we've got a few options here, but um, this is the thing I use mostly. We've got a good set of brushes to do up to play with as well. Okay, so this is as complicated as skin weights get. So I recommend doing one side, so we can mirror them. So basically, we can go into a front view, and what I've done here, I've I've went to show, and I've turned off the joints and the IK handles because if we go to a vertex mode, for example, try to select the character when the joints or the IKs are showing, Maya will prefer to select those instead of the geometry. So I'll turn these off and select your geometry. Then we can go to skin. We've got a lot of functions down here. We can, for example, we can copy the, the weights. We can paste them in different places, um, but we can mirror them as well, which is a really handy function for this for, uh, character. We can mirror them in a range of axes, um, positive to negative, that's good. So simple as that. I'm not going to do it because I've already combined these. So it's a good thing to play with here. Um, so for a low poly character it's not too hard. We don't have many polys to, uh, to play with. So I'm going to go to an object mode and move this joint downwards. And as you can see the armpit kind of recesses inwards so the arm does not react with the body itself. So that's really important. Okay, So you can rotate this, bring it down like so. And if we look at the back um, we're minimizing normal issues here, okay, because we have these nice curves which we could have tweaked a bit more, but never mind. So I'm going to go back here. Um, now we can use the IK handles to move the arms however we like, and so um, using the IK handles automatically um, generates the position of the joints the IK handles attached to, which then allows us to animate. Okay, so just a couple more things. Um, we can also bend downwards and bend upwards. Okay, so the stomach's stretching a little bit, the breasts are like um, going inwards a tiny bit as we go down. Um, we can't do much of the main joints, I mean, because it affects the whole character. Okay, and I've also configured the, um, the thigh as well. So I'm just going to go into a um, edit. Uh, paint skin weights tool, go to the right 
uh, left thigh or the right thigh. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of influence at the front, but not so much at the back because we want to keep that round shape at the back. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this one, bring it upwards like so, so the 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 leg is moving upwards very dramatically, but the the back side of the character is not. So it's keeping that round shape as we go upwards. Okay, so it kind of deforms the, the armor a little bit and also the body. It just makes the character look that bit more realistic. Cool, okay. The knees, same story as the thighs. As we bend upwards, we want to manipulate this area, but we do not want to deform the knee itself too much. Okay, like so. Um, if I can grab this. Okay, so boom, this is about as far as we can go bring it down and the feet the feet can bend up and downwards and it affects the whole foot okay so we can rotate bend the foot like so so before we get to animating we need to understand that each of these joints has a different animation timeline so for example this IK handle has a different animation timeline to this IK handle so to animate effectively we need to um, do one IK handle at a time. Okay, so that's the best way to animate, do one part of the body at a time. In the next video we'll be animating, uh, doing a walking animation for the robot. So, and then we'll wrap things up. I'm going to export the animations into Unity. We can use them for the RTS game. And I might actually spend some time making a very good texture map for this robot. Okay guys, so thanks for watching the video. Remember, take take your time with the uh, skin weights, very important. As long as you have these curves going around, these loops going around, and things like that, joining around the back, you shouldn't have too many problems. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video where we animate this character.